what is heart disease? Yeah. The way I tell patients to think about it is think about it like this room, okay? That's your heart. You've got the walls, which are the structure. That's the muscle of the heart. You've got the doors, which are the valves. They let blood in and out. And just like any valve anywhere, it's supposed to open and close. That's its only job. And when it closes, it's supposed to stop stuff going the other way. There are four valves in the heart, and I'll bore you with them later if you want me to. You've got arteries on the outside of the heart. Now, that's the plumbing of the heart. In order to give the heart, which is a muscle, its only job to do is contract and relax. That's all it does. But in order to do that, it needs blood to get to it. And that blood is supplied by arteries. And there are three main arteries. Your heart sits there. There are three arteries that sit on the outside of the heart. Okay, those are your coronary arteries. And if those get blocked, they will cause a lack of blood getting to the muscle downstream from the heart. And if you get a lack of bl blood getting to the muscle, that's a bad thing. That causes angina if it's a chronic condition and the artery doesn't block off completely, or if it blocks off completely and it starves all the muscle downstream of blood, that's a heart attack. And it's the heart attack that causes that bit of muscle to scar. And when it scars, it won't contract, it won't act as a pump anymore it'll just be a static piece of scar that causes heart failure and if you have enough muscle that has failed you may well die from it so that's kind of coronary disease that's ischemic heart disease you, in you mentioned angina then yeah what's, what's angina yeah it's a good question so if you've got an artery that's got furring up on the inside what we call plaque and it's just sort of fatty deposits. Basically, and it's the dirt poor, that you get in a poor drain. lifestyle and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, well, there are four or five main risk factors for it. Being a male is one of them. Can't do anything about that one. What do you mean, just being a male? Genuinely, being a male is a risk factor for coronary artery disease. You're more likely to get coronary disease if you're male. Uh, being diabetic. Having high cholesterol levels. Having high blood pressure. Um, and being a smoker. Those are your biggies. So if you get coronary disease and you didn't have any of those, that's just bad luck. That's just genetics. You're, you're just born unlucky. You know, your parents, if your parents had bypass surgery when they were 45 years old, you're going to get coronary disease almost certainly. Be on the lookout for it. But if you're, you know, if your parents lived to 90 and died of cancer and you haven't smoked, you're not diabetic, your blood pressure's good and you're fit and handy, you're going to be very, very unlucky to get any coronary disease. But anyway, building up of the plaque inside the artery narrows the lumen, the lumen being the bit down the middle. And when it narrows up, it reduces the blood flow down it. Now, that doesn't cause a problem at rest. If you're at rest, you're fine because your heart doesn't need much oxygen. But if you need to crank the rate up, so if you go walking up a hill, you're not getting enough blood to the muscle. And that hurts. Doesn't it directly hurt? But you will feel tight in the chest it feels like you've got this heavy thing sitting on your chest females say it's like wearing a very tight fitting bra some males may say that as well don't know <laughs> danny danny and all but, that. yeah <laughs> got a lovely set of jugs mate <laughs> but angina typically comes on when you're exerting yourself and settles down when you rest now that's due to a lack of blood getting down an artery but not a complete blockage now think back to when you're a kid and you got a spot on your face and you burst the spot. Well, what happens? You get a tiny little blood clot sitting on it, don't you? That's exactly like a plaque. A plaque is a soft, fatty deposit with a skin on it. And if you're unlucky, the skin will rupture. And if it ruptures, you get blood clot sticking to it. And it's that blood clot sticking to it that acutely, which means, you know, quickly, blocks the artery. Now, that's the difference between angina and a heart attack. Angina is a chronic condition due to chronic, which just means a long time, furring up of the arteries and pain when you exert yourself. 